So, ladies and gentlemen, what I'd like to do is just kind of go through a quick little review, again, of some of the type of functions that we've dealt with, and then also what we've kind of learned when dealing with our functions. So, when looking at this, the main important thing that your guys are going to want to have right down is kind of working on our three different functions that go in certain forms. So what I'm going to do is, you know, here's the type of functions, and then what I'll do is I'll provide you with an example of each type of function. Okay? So by going through each type of example, what you're simply going to do is just go ahead and write them down. Alex, you got that? Okay. So let's go ahead and give an example of a constant function. A constant function is simply going to be a function that is not going to have a variable term in it. So we could just say negative 3. Okay? Now, it, you could, if you wanted to kind of get the variable term, you could say it could be x to the 0. Because x to the 0 is really what? 1. 1. And 1 times negative 3. There you go. So I write x to the 0, though, because if we want to find the degree, remember the degree of a polynomial is the monomial with the largest degree. Well, the only degree or exponent in this that's going to provide a degree is going to be 0. So you could say the degree of this is 0. And really, though, we don't really just write that x to 0, right? But we can still say it's going to have a degree of 0. And then the next thing that we're going to learn about is called the leading coefficient. Now, for the constant, since the leading coefficient is our only term, all right, let's actually write this back in there. Our leading coefficient is going to be our term that is the coefficient of our monomial with the largest degree. So therefore, since negative 3x to 0 is our only monomial, it's our monomial with the largest degree. And that coefficient of that term is negative 3, right? So you can say the leading coefficient in this example is negative 3, even though we really don't even like to write the 0 there. All right? Now, let's look at a linear. 2x plus 1. Okay? Now, 2x plus 1, now we have two monomials, right? We have two different monomials. Now, we've got to make sure that one, that they're in standard form. So we have them in descending order. So when we look at this, we have a monomial x to the 1, and we have x to the 0. So out of these two monomials, which one has the largest degree? Or it would exponent? This one, right? So therefore, this is going to be our degree of our polynomial. We know you don't write the 1 and the x to 0. So therefore, the degree of this polynomial is going to be 1. Now, when asking what is the leading coefficient of that value, so what is the coefficient of my term with the largest degree? 2. All right? Make sense? Kind of? All right. Let's go and take a look at a quadratic. 5x minus 3x squared minus 10. So let's say I give you a quadratic that looks like this. Now, ladies and gentlemen, do we like writing quadratics in this format? No. no. We always want to rearrange it to make sure that it's always in descending order, meaning your largest degree is going to be in front and then going down in descending order. So by rearranging this, I have negative 3x squared plus 5x minus 10. All right? So whenever you guys get something that's not in descending order, rewrite it so it's in descending order. So now we need to determine I have three terms, right? Which term has the largest degree? Which one has the exponent that is going to be the largest? This is my first monomial that has the largest degree. So therefore, the degree of this monomial is 2. So therefore, the degree of the polynomial, or the quadratic, is going to equal 2. So therefore, the leading coefficient, which is the coefficient of my leading term, which is negative 3 again. Very good. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, let's just do the last one. 7x cubed minus 5x squared plus 1 half x minus 2. So for this one, again, you guys kind of get the idea. It's pretty basic, right? First you find your degree. The degree is always going to be your monomial with the largest degree, which would be your largest exponent. So in this case, our degree is 3. Then when we look at it, our degree is 3. I guess I should probably make a line here. So we have a degree of 3 at 3, and then our leading coefficient in this example is 
Seven. <clears throat> Pretty basic, right? Okay. Now, you guys need to know that. 